I knew the very first moment I saw her. She was pure evil. Here, atop the gathering place of the restless dead, the crossroads of demise, as well as sex, where birth begets life, and life begets death. May I have your gauge, mademoiselle? Merci. Stop and take a selfie. Oui, mademoiselle. Do you have an address? Huh? To where you are going? This path was laid before her. Redemption born by brigands blood, a blood upon the darkness. The path. Made 
Is something wrong? I'll just be leaving now. Wait, seriously, can you at least help me with all my bags? I rather not. Okay. That's such a generous tip, then. As you wish. I guess the French are rude. Is anybody home? Didn't see you there. Miss Bella Rose, I presume? Allow me to introduce myself. I am the vicar of Borley. Vicar, please. Please, be seated. Sorry, I'm just a little nervous. Uh, tired. I think I'm jet lagged. <clears throat> Sorry, listening now. Um... Miss Bella Rose, you will notice that we conduct ourselves with a little bit more civility here. Perhaps a modicum of decorum you're not yet used to? Yes, sir. I would like to first express my deepest condolences for the passing of your great uncle, the Count Rose de Song. I can assure you, he was an exemplary pillar of the community. Thank you. I didn't really know that. Regardless. Guy. It's quite fortuitous that you arrived in time for the interment tomorrow. I trust you'll get some rest and come amply rejuvenated come morning. Yeah, that would be proper, right? <laughs> uh, what am I saying? He's my uncle. Yes, <clears throat> of course, I, I'll be ready bright and early. Before you retire for the evening, I'm afraid there's a few rules that we quite stringently enforce here at Castle Borley. Yes, of course. The upper floors are strictly off limits. They are currently under renovation and can prove to be quite dangerous. Yeah, I wouldn't want to get hurt or fall down a rabbit Next, hole. Next, please be aware that there are others residing here and it would behoove you not to disturb them. It definitely seems big enough I can keep my own Do space. not feel compelled to return each utterance with a banal affirmation. Now, best if you remain here on the bottom floors only. And Lucy, any uninvited guests are severely frowned upon. Understood. The chambermaid has provided sustenance for you in the pantry, fresh bed linens in your bedchamber. Your room is the furthest due westward on the tertiary floor. I bid you adieu. Thank you. Oh, and Miss Bella Rose, as vicar of the consecrated grounds here at Castle Borley, my ancestors and I have dedicated our lives to preserving and upholding the reputation of your family for generations. So please, do not make me regret that now, starting with you alone. I'll do my best not to disappoint you.
Hi, virtual friends. It's me, and guess what? Surprise! I'm in Paris. <laughs> well, close enough. Bad news, my uncle died. I know, I know. But it's okay, he was a really distant relative. Good news, I'm in Paris. <laughs> Mom's not here yet, but when is she ever? Seriously, Mom, if you see this, will you please let me know when you're gonna get here? Wait till you guys see this place. It's straight out of a fairy tale. I'll try to post more soon. Au revoir, Lucides. Oh. Note to self, I need to check on internet for personal sanity. Everything all right. Holy crap. What is it with you people? I'm sorry, ma'am. Shall I draw your bath? No, no, it's it's fine. Um, I'm Lucy. Yes, I know. I'm I'm fine if I could just get some rest. Of course, ma'am. I'll leave you. You'd be so kind as to join us for the funeral rites.
I'll be down soon. I just need some privacy to shower and get dressed. Please, make haste. You guide me along the right path for the sake of your name. Even when I walk through a dark valley, I fear no harm, for you are at my side. Your rod and staff give me courage. You set a table before me as I watch my enemies. Excuse me, mademoiselle. Do you have some light? Sorry, I don't smoke. Of course you don't. With a face like that, though, I don't blame you. You're not from around here, are you? Is it that obvious? Uh, my name is Jean-Pierre. You can call me JP. Bit more American style, no? And they say the French are rude. Well, JP, the devilishly handsome grave digger at your service. That's an actual job? Around here, quite a lucrative one, yeah. Wait, you knew I was American, so it is that obvious. Well, without the handgun and the freedom fries, it was extremely hard to tell. I'm Lucy. Lucy? Well, that's a name you don't hear that often. Well, my mom went to call me Desi, but I'm not a boy, so... Well, you certainly are not that. Uh, Lucy Bellarose. Bellarose. Rose, like the Count, are you? Yeah, he's my uncle. Sorry, he was my great uncle. Oh, I'm so sorry, madam, I didn't know. No, please, it's okay. He was always just some blood relative living an ocean away in a castle. To be honest, growing up, I used to call him Count Dracula. Well, he was the Blood Rose Count. No, 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 Dracula, like, uh, um, Frankenstein or Wolfman. Never mind. <laughs> oh, but you know the story, right, of uh, how the Count got his namesake? No, actually. It is said that the King of France when he was still a young prince, fell in love with a rose farmer's beautiful daughter, his only child. When the prince's grandmother, the queen, found out, rather than have a lineage spoiled with that of peasantry, she ordered the girl to be immediately killed. In her grief, the farmer's wife also killed herself, leaving the farmer completely alone. They were buried together amongst the roses of the French countryside. Oh my god. Wait, it gets better. It is said that around their graves alone, the roses turn a dark blood red instead of their usual pastel colors. When the grieving prince became old enough to be the king, he awarded the farmer part of his kingdom and the title of Comte Rose du Sang, Count of the Blood Red Rose, your very forefather. Although grateful, the farmer never did get over it and vowed to avenge his wife and daughter's death cursing your family forever. Are you serious? That's horrible. <laughs> oh my god, you are so full of shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> Forgive me. Uh, but, but wait, but my name is Bella Rose. It actually I always wondered about that. Bella Rose, a beautiful rose, just like you. What's to wonder? Look, uh, let me make my cruel joke up to you and bring you to some local wine tasting. I could use a friend. Wait, but what's the legal drinking age around here? You do realize this is France, yes, my silly little rose? <laughs> but of course. <laughs> um, you, uh, you know where to find me, so. Au revoir.
Don't be afraid. Excuse, please. Is the man of the house around? Excuse me? Abel Baden of Dauphine, insurance salesman. Would love to have a chat with the man of the house. I hope it's not life insurance, because you just missed it. Out on an errand, is he? He's dead. Oh, my. Might I come inside for a moment? I'm quite weary. I seem to have gotten myself turned around at the crossroads. Sure. I'm Lucy. Enchanted. It's a beautiful home. Thanks. Kind of just figured it out still, but. Hi. Um, this is. Uh, wait, I actually never got your name. Mary. Mary. Mary, this is. Abel. Abel Baden. It's a pleasure to meet you both. Sorry, I'm terrible with names. I've met some food, Lucy. I'm sure that Mr. Baden can join us, but you know how the vicar feels about an invited guest. I'm so sorry to hear of his passing. Oh, not him, unfortunately. My uncle. Oh, of course. My apologies. Lucy, might I ask you a question? It's a sales pitch of sorts. Sure, but I'm saving my money for the Champs Elysees. Fair enough. You see, I fancy myself somewhat of a philosopher, and in my line of work, well, what do you think of your uncle's passing? I'm not sure I follow. Do you believe in an afterlife, in good deeds? a soul, that sort of thing. I guess I never really thought about it. But to answer your question, who has time for an afterlife when we're so busy living this one? Precisely. Precisely. Everything else is just distractions. The only thing that really matters is the here and now. Right? Sure, I guess. I mean, really, think about it. If once you die, you're gone, then the only thing of real consequence is what you do right now. There is no right or wrong, only one life to do as you please. So we should want to live as long as possible on our own terms. Please, no need to fill our head with such rubbish. I beg your pardon. Look, Lucy, 
Have you ever done anything really bad? I mean, evil. Something only you know about, but occasionally rears its ugly head. I know I certainly have. Is it safe to say that you have some secrets or regrets? Well, let's just say that none of that matters. How liberating would that be? Enough, Mr. Baden. I'm afraid I have to ask you to finish your meal and leave at once before the vicar arrives. Oh, he's not home, is he? Okay, I'll bite. So what then? Well then, Miss Bella Rose, you would be all powerful. You could do anything you want with no consequence. Death would be your only enemy. As long as you were alive, you would no longer have to live in fear. Mr. Bellin, I beg of you. I'm sorry, my manners. <laughs> it's just a spiel that I'm perfecting to sell more policies. Thank you very much for the meal, Miss Mary. And Miss Lucy, you will think about it, yes? Sorry, I don't plan on dying anytime soon. No one ever does. Don't mind him, mademoiselle. The vicar. No, Mr. Baden. No, I know. I mean, you said he was gone for the day? I'm afraid he's the only one ordained in the old parish. He will be gone most of the day. Cool. Excuse me. Thanks for lunch, by the way. I know when you guys see this, it won't be live, but I'm exploring this really creepy castle that my family owns. They told me not to come up here. <laughs> if this is my last post, please. <gasps> Is anybody there? It's Lucy.
What's the matter? <gasps> Stay away. Lucy. Please, I only came back to get my hat. The chambermaid asked me to come look for you. She was certain you strayed somewhere where you shouldn't have. I said back away. Very well. I'll just give you a moment to calm down. Lucy, I heard a scream. Are you all right? Uh, I couldn't find anyone, so I just let myself in. Uh, it's, it's okay. I just... I just finished burying your... I mean, I'm off work. I wanted to take you up on that drink offer. Sounds like you could use one. Yeah. Yeah, I need to get out of here for a minute. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah. Yeah, I, um, I just spoofed myself. I do a lot, actually. I'm a glutton for punishment. Um, so I just need a minute to change. What do you feel like? Mm, still adjusting. <laughs> no, I mean, uh, wine, beer, coffee, tea, or me? We gotta work on your jokes. No, seriously, two things. First, it's Europe, so we drink at all hours. And two, it gets dark early this time of year, so let's make it a quick one. That's what she said. Hmm? Never mind. JP, can I ask you something? Sure. Anything. Does this place seem a little off to you? I'm not sure I follow this. I don't know. Ever since I've been here, I just felt a little uneasy. But you've only been here a couple of days. Mm -hmm. oh, that way. I mean, I, I just, I don't know. Look, Lucy, I'm not gonna lie. Yes, the people around here are a little weird. They're sheltered. And there's lots of unpleasant history here. These families tend to keep to themselves. I mean, I feel like I'm being watched or, I don't know, it's probably just general discomfort. Come here, follow me. Oh my God, it's beautiful. Come on, let's go. Wow, it really is awesome. Isn't it? My grandfather proposed to my grandma over here, so you could say that if it wasn't for this, there'd be no me. Well, I guess that makes it even more splendid. <laughs> Not really. This castle, for example. I was Brandy. It has a very dark past. All right, let's go see it. I guess what I was saying earlier is that these people just have no social skills, you know? Like, 
simple conversations and oh my god door he said that his houses built a fortune over the misfortune of others during the valley witch trials or the persecution of the Sotilegia. what what did you say yeah. can you describe this girl what was that word sort of sort Sotilegia. Where did you find this book? In that damn castle. You found it. It was just lying around. This was no accident. Okay, come on. You're not gonna get me with one of your bullshit stories this time. Look, Lucy. Don't you find it strange that all this wealth and power is historically rooted in what is essentially a bunch of farmland? I guess so. Here? In the middle of nowhere? Countess Bather has got nothing on them. These people literally flourished off the backs of people like me. Grave diggers, farmers, peasants. And by these people, you mean people like me. You see, I didn't... No, mean... tell me first, that word. Sotilegia. Those who practice black magic. Sorceries, witches. Look, Lucy, the more power, the more greed. This wealth, paid for in blood sacrifice. If you were a count or a dame back then, you tortured people for fun. That's what they did. It's no secret. Look it up. But you don't actually believe in this stuff, right? It doesn't matter if I believe it or not. Look around. We're surrounded by it. Castle Bolly, House Brandy, Dauphin, all of it. The legends are older than the buildings. Can't you see that once they get a test, they couldn't get enough? Innocent souls in exchange for wealth, power, and everlasting life. Look, I cannot make up for the sins of my fathers, but I could buy you a drink. And I could definitely use one. But the girl. I never, never actually saw her. No, I need to drink. You know, in all the excitement I forgot, I should at least try and call my mom. It's okay, you'll need a SIM card and I can help you with that. But first, the truth. We drink? We drink. Mind them. Qu'est-ce que vous voulez, Jean-Pierre? Which is brew? Well, I like the way it tastes. Uh, just a local beer, please. You gotta be kidding me. Is this for real? Yes. Cheers. Cheers. So, you never told me about the girl? Yeah, it's weird. It's like I can feel her. Does she wear a white dress? So you do know her? A shot, please. It's just an urban legend. Lots of people playing to it around here. It's probably just some kid messing with you. Yeah, but usually folklore is at least based on something. It's not just legends, it's true. One whiskey, one shot, one beer. Because a couple hundred years ago, the clergyman shocked the headmistress, a nun. They had a girl child, so they yanked her out. Triple cardinal sins. So they found them, chopped them up, and set them on fire. Just like they did that little girl child. Witches! The whole lot of them. Like I said, urban legend. Is it true? Ignore him. 
Whiskey. Irish. Not all of it. None of this bothers you? Not in the least bit? Witches, immortal priests, black-eyed little girl ghosts? Who said anything about black-eyed ghosts? Now who's making up stories? Look, listen. People are bored here. Yes, this place has a sordid past, but they're just in their entertainment. Don't take it too seriously. Jean-Pierre! What? Ton oncle a eu un terrible accident. Désolé de me There has been an accident. One of my relatives. I should really go. Of course. Uh, will you be able to make your way yeah, back? Yeah, JP, call. I'll be fine. Uh, be another round for her. Put I, it on my I can handle it. Chantez mon voisin. Je me fiche ce que les autres disent. Vous êtes magnifique. Vous avez du temps à m'accorder Sorry, I, I don't speak French. Oh. One beer, please. Thank God, an American. Hey, I'm just here for the Battle of Bella Wood Memorial. Rumor has it there's a devil dog fountain of youth. Uh, excuse me, sir. Can I, can I Sorry, Miss America. Semper Fi.
Hello? Excuse me, sorry to disturb. Come in, child. Oh my god. Sorry, um, I'm, I'm, I'm a little lost and drunk, mostly. Um, sorry. Drink. I was wondering, actually, if you could tell me how to get to Castle Borley from here? Mm, Castle Borley. Mm. The Borley curse, ever so great. Many centuries left, it does spate. A sword in past and half imposed upon all ye bloody better rose. What did you just say? A dove from lust that ne'er was born. From an unpure womb she had endured. A sin of the father to time will last till death become him hard and fast. Wait a second. The demon trilogy you must find. Holy shock and skills doth the curse unbind. The devil himself partakes the feast, the squinter, the youth, and the diabolic priest. <laughs> Good morning, madam. What? Madam, your sheets. Oh my god. I I already It's okay. I'll take those. Um Okay. Thanks. Can I have a moment, please? Of course. Fine. I'm not angry, Mom. Just come sit here. I'm sorry about Uncle Ricky, Mom. It was a terrible tragedy, but what can we do? Three funerals in as many weeks. I'm beginning to think this place is cursed. Jean-Pierre, please, don't. I'm sorry. I met a girl. Oh, really? Tell me more. An American. No, that is interesting. Where did you meet her? Castle Bolly. What? You know about it, right? Of course, son. Just in odd place is all. How so? Don't know much about it, really. Other than my mother was scared to go there. Just kid stuff. 
tell me more about this girl. Beautiful, headstrong, different. Sounds American. Nothing I like her. Sounds like you. Jean-Pierre. I'm sorry, Mom. I just realized I left her alone in a bar full of strange men last night. I really should get going. Oh, off with ya. Have fun, Cyrano. Forgive me, Mom. And again, I'm at a loss about Uncle Ricky. I'll help with the arrangements when... Uh... It's okay, son. Life is for the living. So go and live it. She'll never be in my heart like you, Mom. What is that? And what is he still doing here? Mary and the vicar were kind enough to offer me repose. I'm, I'm grateful. You seriously trust this guy? I thought there were no guests allowed here. We were not going to just let him wander the countryside. Morning, Miss Montparnasse. And to you, Yen Jean. Might I trouble you for a dozen roses, ma'am? Not sure which color. Depends on the intent now, doesn't it? A girl is it, you devil you. Then blood red it is. Who's a lucky girl? It's my right, you know, as you won't be coming around here no more. No one can take your place, Miss Monty. She's American. Better rose clam. Fish. New royalty, I should say. You know what they say about royals and ancients. I hope not dirty money. What do you mean? Jean-Pierre, uh, don't be naive. People disappearing, rumblings of witchcraft. No one will even go to House Barley no more because of it. Come on, wives' tales. And like I said, she's American. I'll tell you what I know. That fire weren't no wives' tale. And those people really died. <sighs> A whole incestuous lot of them saved the count. And the only reason he stuck around, they say, is by selling his soul. Come on, Miss Monty. We spare on becoming of you. Get out of here, you playboy, before I steal you right back from her. And save them lips for kissing that sweet mother of yours, not rich Americans. What are you looking at? You work for me, remember that. Lucy, thank God. I'm so sorry. For what? About leaving you all alone last night. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing, I just... Because I can't take care of myself? Because I'm a little girl? God, where do you park your ego in that big white steed? I just meant I was concerned. A uh, stranger in a... How is he? Who? The guy, the accident. He... He didn't make it. I... Oh my God, I'm going crazy here. I'm hallucinating and, and I'm being chased by an imaginary girl and, and I'm pretty sure that I've been drugged and God knows what else. And these two are just icing on the cake. Lucy, are you all right? Should I bring you to a doctor? That's perfect. She finally speaks her mind and she needs a doctor. That is perfect. I... I... Shit! My purse! My stuff! 
Lucy, come down. Where are you going? The woods. I think I left my stuff somewhere. Shall I come with you? Fine, but at your own risk, and I don't need your help. Let's go. Lucy! Where are we even going? I'm going to try and find my things and figure out what the hell is going on around here. You're not really making any sense. Look, I didn't mention this, but I had an, an encounter. I, I don't know, that's the best way I can think to describe it. With who? Some old lady. I don't know, she, she was speaking gibberish and I was drunk. Can you even remember anything she said? Well, she went on some crazy rant about a curse and she knew my name and I'm pretty sure that she drugged me and she has my stuff, so. So you are going to go to that obviously crazy person's place alone and just demand your stuff back? Why don't you just call the police? I can handle her. Here, this is it. Lucy, calm down. Let's not make it harder than it already is. She's not here. But she was here. <laughs> Look, see, I told you. Listen, this doesn't prove anything other than you were most likely here last night. Well, how do you explain it then? I wasn't that drunk. All right, book, you seem to be following me. Let's see what you have to say. What language is this? It appears to be several. It's like some sort of instruction manual. That's crazy. That sort of looks like it's Hebrew. That is German. Wait, go back. Wait, what? Uh, there, Latin. Uh, I'm decent at Italian. Let me give it a shot. Mm, something about die. Like dying? No, like dice. Uh, let me concentrate. Okay, so it's about someone's prophecy. No, destiny. Uh, it's a detailed account of something called a black mass. And it keeps mentioning a Saint Valpurga. What does that even mean? Apparently a chosen once lot is cast, and through a spell, um, how do you say, an incantation. That it means something power through the death of the innocents, everlasting life, something, something, consecrated ground. Wait, what? Okay, hang on. This is clearly some sort of dark ritual or something. Knowing the history around here, sounds like someone is some sort of demented hobbyist. Why does this even matter so much to you anyway? Look. JB, I didn't tell you this. I've never told anybody this, but I've always had these dark feelings inside, and I, and I try to cover them up because they're pretty depressing, but when I was a little girl and my mom used to tell me stories, I was always the one rooting for the villain. I, I used to make out with boys in cemeteries. I, I, I would try to hang out outside of funeral homes hoping to see a dead body. Am I making any sense? 
Look, for years I've tried to put on this perfect princess image. I don't even fucking like pink. But then I got here and then all, this all just came rushing back. What did? I don't know, the castle, that girl, this book, it's, it's wrong, but it feels right. And then from the moment I got here, I had this feeling of belonging, like deja vu, but stronger. And, and I know that my family history is here, but it's like I knew the layout of the castle before I even walked in the door. You said it yourself, finding this book was no accident. That's why I have to figure this out. And I'm sorry about earlier, I was just really overwhelmed. No need to explain. Devil be damned! You're not welcome here. Look, mister, we don't mean any harm. It's okay. My uncle uh, is the Count from Castle Borley. Your uncle was especially not welcome here. I'm glad that slave driver is dead. I'll be glad when the rest of your devil-worshipping clan's gone as well. Feel free to follow him in the grave, Missy. And take your witchcraft with you! That was crazy. Right? Where did that whack job come from? Then take your witchcraft with ya. <laughs> that must have been the man you saw last night. No, it wasn't. Oh, come on, Lucy, it has to be. Lucy, can I tell you something? Sure. I know we've just met but I can stop thinking about you. And it's like I've known you all my life. And even this morning, I couldn't stop wanting to see you. Even though I represent all that you despise? Maybe especially so. She's ready. Not quite yet. She needs to get over her denial before we can approach her. The waxing is not going to wait for anyone. We already learned that once the hard way. She's ready when I say she's ready. Prepare these. Yes, my lord. Sometimes you petulant fools need to pay heed to the proven wisdom of a prudish old man. I have not managed to stay around this place this long without getting this right a couple of times before. And you have not managed at all without us. And she's different. We've always known this one would be harder. Fool, are you playing devil or advocate? Prophecy or none, I will not so easily relinquish my power to a woman, much less a child. You'd have said the same of me? Everyone knows this is House of Borley, despite the name on the deed. Take heed, sinners. It's your game, Vicar. Always has been. Oh, Lucy, I think I... Lucy? Lucy? Lucy! I can't believe this. Hi. It's okay, I won't hurt you. What's your name? Do you live in the castle too? 
Lucy! Okay, I won't hurt you. What's your name? Have you been following me? Little ghost right off the vine Picked from God right off the vine Careful not to touch the thorn Now she's ready. What's the matter? Don't you want it? It's beautiful, just like you. Who are you talking to? A little girl, silly. Hey, come back! Come here, little cutie. You didn't even tell me your name. Little girl. What am I doing here? Lucy? Can you hear him? Bloody bones dragging chains. Bloody bones getting closer still. Lucy, please be seated. Miss Bellarose, I asked you not to come up here, yet here you are. In fact, you've done nothing but mock us your entire visit. I, I... I'm not here to admonish you. Quite the contrary. Where others see rebellion, I see independence and initiative. I don't understand. You may find this hard to believe, but you were invited here for a very specific purpose. The time has come to bring you into the fold. Who is that little girl and what have you done to her? She's my daughter, Rose. And in a way, Lucille, you are too. I thought priests weren't allowed they to. They are not. Do not get distracted. What others call selfish, we call survival. You don't blame the wolf for devouring the fawn, do you? Lucy, look at me. This house, this power, everything. We are in danger of losing it all. 
That's where you come in. But it comes at a price. No, I want no part of this, no matter what this is. <clears throat> We're not exactly asking, little one. Besides, you're already part of this. Enough. What he says is true. This is a family tradition. Your family. Our family. Let's just say we've used up our free passes. But you? Oh, you. Let me go. Oh. The life of just one innocent extends ours immensely. The first one is always the hardest. After that, you'll crave it. Santa Lucille, Patronus et Martires. Nos vos oramos. Per oleum maris de Santa Valpurga. Nos vos oramos. By faith in he who brings the light, we swear allegiance and bequeath unto thee this precious rose. Vanquisher of innocence. In nomine patris. Et fides. Et spiritus mine. Okay, one more, then it slides out. Okay, Lucille? Okay, mommy. Pinky swear? Once upon a hill up high, there was a castle near the sky. Herein lived an evil man, ruling with a heavy hand. Full of ego and pride, against God's will, he took a bride. She bore to him a nephew son, and so the family curse begun. The love for flesh was oh so strong, and the son tradition did carry on. But his own child was never born, when for his sins she did burn. But selfishly he continued on, taking lives to save his own. Until one day the family spared by a newborn rose so fair. Only she and she alone, her father's sins can atone, but the decision to fight must be solely hers, or else the family be forever cursed.
Lucy, do not deny your true nature. It's okay, Lucy. We're family, remember? Go to hell! We already have, dear. Lucille, we can grant you a full and complete life if you'll only trust in us. Lucy? Lucy? Leads. What's she saying? Please tell me what's going on. Please, oh my god, I'm falling apart. It's okay. She's not herself right now. She calls out too many before you. Neil. Of my blood. No. Silly girl. 
Don't make me angry. Won't you just go? Leave my house. <gasps> oh, enlightened one thrown from heaven for being brave and just. We invoke your assistance in our time of abjection. We will not forget the sacrifices that you made, and so unto you make this sacrifice in your honor. sister in him out of her misery she's not my sister see it is meant to be Do not disobey. So you want to play, huh? Bitch! you out of my house or so help me god i will kill you bright spirit wrong deity lucy stop resisting you know deep down how this all plays out gave his only begotten son, and he's not selfish? But we take the weak, the downtrodden, and the lonely. And we are the evil ones? Then so be it. We are the evil ones. Defy him, Lucille. Defy him. Let the girl go. Lucy, she may appear innocent, but that little girl is the only thing between you and life immortal. If I could promise you a long life, without remorse, without guilt of any kind, wouldn't you take it? That girl has already died. It is only the act you need to do. God damn it, it isn't working. Silence. Lucille, we kill the pure of art in order to replenish our home, our families. Your family has been doing it for generations. It's not about the wealth or the power. Although that's nice too. It's about having complete reign over these weak fools. The constraints of morality do not bind those who do not believe in its very principles. We will not be held accountable by he whom you call God. Saint Lucille, I am blind to the sins of the Father. Like the bearer of light, I will fight my own way. The God of man does not possess me. In nomine Patrice. Patrice. 
And the Omega. The end all be all. <laughs> you actually did it. The creature of the inner sadness. Ambulancier, J.P. Bernard, avons récupéré une jeune femme d'une vingtaine d'années sur la route. Bonne constante, mais déshydratée et fatiguée. Unité 6, la route pour le CHE, l'oral régional, secteur 6 est ouvert. Temps de arriver 6 minutes, à vous.
Bonjour mademoiselle, ça va aller, détendez-vous. Tout va bien se passer. Elle est enceinte. 